All right, well, we have bad news. Yeah, I'm a little like all over the place today. Wait, wait, right, going this way. <laughs> Good morning, explorers. Today, I'm getting into Tokyo Disneyland before everybody else. One of the benefits of staying at a Tokyo Disney Resort hotel is you get happy entry, which means you get into the park 15 minutes before everybody else. So today, I'm staying at the Tokyo Disneyland hotel. We're in the Beauty and the Beast room. I have another video on that, so you can go and check that out later. We get to go into Tokyo Disneyland early today, and this is a benefit that's included with your stay so there's nothing extra to pay for now 15 minutes doesn't sound like a lot but trust me that does make a difference what Tokyo Disneyland has been doing lately is they've been letting regular guests in earlier before the park officially opens so today the park opens at 9 and we got this little slip here this is what we have to show to get into the park early it says we can go in from 8 we're getting in pretty much an hour before the official opening time. I'm not sure what time they're gonna let regular guests in, but probably they'll probably start letting them in maybe at 8.15 or 8.30. Always get here early. With that said, we're gonna go into the park with our early entry and see what we can get done. <laughs> it's about 7.55, so they're gonna let us in in about five minutes here. So the entrance for the hotel guests is right in the middle here where big Tokyo Disneyland sign is. There's a few people ahead of me. I'm not too worried about it because still we're getting in 15 minutes before everybody else. So once we get in, the website says we can start doing Disney Premier Access, the entry request, the standby pass. So we're gonna try and do that. I'm probably gonna be doing um, Be and the Beast first. I'm just gonna like beeline it for Be and the Beast. I don't wanna waste any time. I just wanna do that. Then we'll worry about the other stuff later. And we're in. It took two minutes to get inside. Perfect. <laughs> Beelining it for Beauty and the Beast. Not everything in the park is open, but we have Astro Blasters, which is open. And there's also Space Mountain. The Happy Ride with Baymax is also open. That's a fun ride. All right, well, we have bad news. Beauty and the Beast isn't open yet. They're saying there's a system issue right now. So uh, I guess I'll go do something else. Hopefully it comes up soon. <laughs> Figures. The one time, the one time I do the early entry, there's a system issue with Beauty and the Beast. But that would be my recommendation anyway. As soon as you get in, go to Beauty and the Beast and get that done straight away because that's one of the most popular rides. And I also heard they were saying something about Cruise Honey Hunt was also having a system issue, so... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I mean, that's just how it goes, right? There's a long line for Baymax, too. I guess everyone's going to be in the Beast, seeing that it's uh, not up yet, and then going to the other attraction. So I'm just gonna figure, figure out what I'm gonna do. That really, like, threw off everything I was... I had planned today. This just goes to show that, you know what? Not everything goes to plan. Not at all. You never know. You never know what's gonna happen. Even for me, someone who's done this many, many times. Okay, let's make the most of this. I love purring mochi up there for the vending machines. I have a vending machine video showing all the vending machines here at Tokyo Disneyland. Anyway, let's check out, let's just look at what the wait times are. So it's about 8.15 right now. Standby for Baymax is 30 minutes. That's not bad. I love the music on this ride. It's so catchy. And it's actually on Spotify. Based on the flood of people I'm seeing walking in right now, I guess they let everyone in at 8.15. So that's what they're doing. Okay, so that makes sense. We get in 15 minutes earlier than everyone else, 8.15. So, good to know. Space Mountain is only five minutes. I guess I could do Space Mountain. I'm going to check out the other wait times, though. Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters, five minutes. That's it. Five minutes. Nice. Now I'm beating the beast is still down for some system issues, so... All right, well, that's out the window. You know, I'm going to go do Haunted Mansion. That's what I'm going to do. Change of plans again. We're actually going to do Pooh's Honey Hunt because it's open and it's only 15 minutes. And this is such a wonderful wonderful attraction you cannot miss it and it's exclusive for Tokyo Disneyland oh my goodness <laughs> I forgot 
Haunted Mansion is closed for refurbishment because it just got out of the Haunted Mansion Holiday Nightmare. I completely forgot about that. Oops. Yeah, it's it's a uh, it's closed. Not sure when it's opening again. Oh well. Yeah, I'm a little like all over the place today. I'll be honest, this video wasn't uh, planned because we stayed at the Beauty and the Beast room last night at the Tokyo Disneyland Hotel and we got the early entry and I didn't plan to come into the park, but last night I thought, well, I have the early entry and I know people were asking about it. So I thought, well, why don't I come into the park and just see what to expect? So didn't have a lot of time to plan this video today. So this is kind of, <laughs> this is me just kind of running around at random it feels like also our book our ebook for tokyo disney resort and universal studios japan we're working on it and it should be coming out in the next mm, uh, two months we're working on it really hard like every day except for today i'm in the park obviously but we want to get it out earlier but with the borders for japan just reopening in october it wasn't a lot of time for us to rehaul two books so there's only a couple of us working on it. So we're a very small team. I know people are asking us about it. Uh, we are working on it very hard. So we do have a chapter ready for you. So if you want a free preview of the book, there's a link in the description. You can join our mailing list and you get a free chapter from the Tokyo Disney Resort book on when to visit. So you can go and check that out. And also we will send an email on the mailing list as to when it's gonna be available. Same with the Universal one. So if you join the mailing list, you'll get that free chapter and we'll send an email out when both Tokyo Disney Resort and the Universal Books are going to be available. We'll also send out an email about when pre-orders and stuff like that open as well. So hit that link in the description, okay? I'm going to do Big Thunder Mountain. That's what I'm going to do. Yes. <laughs> it's almost 9 a.m. So like the park is going to be officially opening, but they've let everybody in not everything is open i know it's like it's small world is not open yet um dumbo and the teacups are not open but all the major rides look like they are open like space mountain baymax Pooh's honey hunt wonderful and big thunder mountain says it's a 25 minute wait that's not bad let's do it did Big Thunder Mountain, made it, you know, maybe 25 minutes. It said 25, I think it was roughly around there. I just noticed Splash Mountain is also closed. <laughs> so right now it's considered the low season. January, February is usually the slow season because, it, you know, it's cold, it's after the New Year's holidays, and March is kind of when it starts picking up again because of the spring break for most of the kids in Japan, uh, anyone going to school. So March, when it starts picking up, and then we get into April, that starts to get busy as well because we go into Golden Week at the end of April, into beginning of May, then it slows down a little bit again in May. Um, I do have a video that actually goes through every single month. So if you're interested in that, I'll put it up on the screen for you so you can watch that to figure out which month is best for you to come and visit. So yeah, that's why uh, during this time, a lot of attractions will actually close because you know it's a low season. Oh, the train is going by. <laughs> what time is it? It is. It's only 9.20. You know what? For my little mishap today, I'm um, doing pretty good. I want to do some food, but I know food doesn't really open until about 10 a.m. So, probably do another attraction and do some food. I think that's, what, that's what, I think that's what we're going to do. Look at the wait times here. So, Baymax is actually at 100 minutes. <gasps> Be in the Beast just open. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, sorry. I, <laughs> I wasn't planning that. It wasn't open like two minutes ago. So now it's open. Okay, I'm gonna go do Be in the Beast. Never mind. Forget all the other rides. Be in the Beast time. Wait, where am I going? This way. <laughs> all right, it says it's 90 minutes. Hopefully it's not. I don't think it will be after this point. I got online when it said 50, so hopefully it's still 50. But either way, 90 minutes is worth it for this ride. 100%. For Be in the Beast, it's one of the rides that has the Disney Premier Access, so it's the paid fast pass option because we don't have fast passes anymore so if the line is really long you could buy the premiere access and skip the line entirely i do have a video on that showing how to do that i'll put it up here for you so you can go and watch it i did it last year when they just introduced it 
So it's worth considering if you don't have a lot of time here and maybe this is a once in a lifetime trip and you will want to make sure you ride Beauty and the Beast because honestly, this is one of the best attractions at any Disney park in the world. And I'm not even exaggerating. I love it so much. <laughs> to ride Beauty and the Beast, there is just the regular standby line or the Disney Premier Access. That's how they're doing it. They're not doing the standby pass anymore for this attraction, I believe. Um, I can explain that in a different video because that requires some explanation. But uh, you can check out the Tokyo Disney Resort website because they do have an excellent write-up about the standby pass. It's usually just used for shops right now. Shops and some restaurants. Attractions, not so much anymore. They were using it for the Haunted Mansion because it was a Haunted Mansion Holiday Nightmare. But that was the only attraction in the park that was using it. I'm not sure about Disney Sea. I haven't checked that lately. But for the most part, it's just shops and restaurants. And that's usually for merch release days that they're doing the shops. And that's only select shops. I know, it, it starts to get really convoluted and confusing. I'm kind of doing this off the top of my head here. <laughs> and for the restaurants too, the ones that do have it, that's usually because there are souvenir plates that correspond with the merch release, like Minnie's uh, Besties Bash that just started. There was souvenir stuff at some of the restaurants, so there's standby pass for that. Same thing at Tokyo Disney Sea. It also happens with Duffy merch release stuff at Tokyo Disney Sea as well. And then on top of that, you know what? I might as well just explain this now. <laughs> there's also the entry request, which is used for shows and some character greetings. And the best way to explain the entry request is it's a lottery. So, you, you might be able to do it, you might not. <laughs> but a lot of the shows, though, will have a standby line for the first showing of the day. Then the rest of the, the shows are through the app with your entry request. So, remember, check out the Tokyo Disney Resort website. They have, like, screenshots and everything on how, to, how that all works. And I have done videos in the past showing that as well. I'm excited for this ride so much. <laughs> Everything I just talked about too is done through the Tokyo Disney Resort app. It's available in English. So download, download that ahead of time. And in the park, the only place that there's Wi-Fi in the park is actually at the entrance. So make sure you have a pocket Wi-Fi or a SIM card. I could put a link in the description as well uh, where to get a SIM card or a Wi-Fi wi -Fi box or whatever when you're visiting Japan. All right, <laughs> is that enough information? You know, I'm just info dumping on you. <laughs> There it is. I can't believe this ride is going to be three years old. It opened at the end of 2020. A marvelous ride. Absolutely marvelous. <laughs> it's, it, it, honestly, it is so worth it. I forgot to mention, there is... So they have signs for the single rider line, but I've never seen it open. So I don't know when or if they're gonna do the single rider line because I'm a big believer of single rider lines. So if you come here and it's they have a single rider open, use it for sure. It is 10.30. You know what time it is? Well, I just said it's 10.30. But also it's time to eat. I'm gonna get some food. That's what I wanna do. <laughs> We're gonna head to one of my favorite restaurants hungry bear yes it only has a five minute wait it says zero to five minute wait or whatever ten minutes i don't know whatever i'm getting curry getting lunch here at the hungry bear getting my pork katsu curry jemmy's curry is so good i love it i got the cheese topping and then i also got the haris harissa sauce spicy harissa sauce uh i've done this once before at a different restaurant it's like they do this thing where you can get like a different topping for some of the dishes. I don't know. She said it, it's spicy. I've had it before. It, it has a little bit of a kick. We're going to put the cheese on here because cheese, you know. Ugh. Yum. Hopefully it melts. And then the... I don't know how to do the sauce. It's, oh, it's kind of thick. <laughs> She said it's very spicy. Well, I've had it before. I don't remember it. Like it was, it had some kick to it. Um, yeah, we'll just, we'll kind of ease into it here. I don't know. This is a mess. 
<laughs> Just mix it up. It's, all, it's always, always good. Mm. Mm. Wow. Nice and steamy. It is chilly today. I think it's like nine degrees, eight or nine degrees. Look at that. <laughs> I can I can taste the the sauce. A little bit of a kick. That's really nice. Got myself some iced oolong oolong tea. Gonna finish up here, and I want to do a little bit of shopping. Sounds like a good idea. I don't know if putting all of that harissa sauce on there was a smart idea. Um, <coughs> it's a little bites. <laughs> My mouth feels like it's on fire. <laughs> what a day. What a day. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Let's go look at some merchandise. Don't let my mouth cool off. <laughs> Gonna pop in here and check out the new Minnie Mouse merchandise for her event. So there's an event going on right now called Minnie Besties Bash. So for the last three years, they've been doing like a Minnie Mouse themed event in the winter. And now it's at both Disneyland and Disney Sea. So we got Minnie Mouse in her new little outfit. 2,600 yen. And cute, I love the dress. Mickey Mouse. These are kind of similar to the ones last year and the year before. Just changed a little bit. 2600 yen here. And they've been doing a lot of these now with the shoulder bags and the balloon motif. They've been doing the balloon motif and just like releasing different colors, different patterns on them. You know what? I'm not mad because it just, it works. Really adorable. And it's 3300 yen for that. And it's really soft and the pouch on the top opens up. And we have Minnie down here. Ugh. Oh, her dress is designed to like flip up like that. It's 5,500 yen. And her dress is designed to flip up like that. Interesting, okay. <laughs> Cute little bow, like very glittery. And it says Minnie's Bestie, Mini Besties Bash. We have the little drawstring bag, Mini here. And all those cute little designs. There's three inside there, and that's 2,200 yen. Very cute, very adorable, very pink. And down here, we have a tote bag, 4,900 yen. Little pass case thing here. We love, we love to love Minnie. <laughs> and inside, we've got the Minnie Mouse pattern inside. That's nice. It's like a canvas type bag on the, here. Oh, we have little uh, chocolate biscuit things. 10 inside for 800 yen. Little cookies with chocolates, biscuits, whatever you want to call them. Now they call them biscuits. These are a common type of snack and they're really good. So it looks like there's chocolate and strawberry. Then we have little chocolate crunch, 28 in there for 1600 yen. And you get a little, little lunch bag thing with it. Cute. Ooh, my beloved clear file. My beloved clear file, that's what it looks like there. Glittery, sparkly. Oh, it's hearts, like hologram hearts. You can see that there. You see? <laughs> so there's three inside for 900 yen. So there's two big ones and then a smaller one here. Yeah, I've noticed they've gone away from selling them individually most of the time to in packs. Just to sell more. <laughs> so we've got some badges here. Can badges as they're called. Buttons. 1700 yen for those. And we have some pins, or a pin, I should say. 1,200 yen. Minnie Mouse. 
And then we have a little Tomi cough. The resort line or resort bus. Resort cruiser. 1500 yen. I'm not doing good with names. <laughs> not going, doing good with names. This must be a blanket. Yes, 4900 yen for a blanket that folds into a heart. And if you unfold it, with the design there. A little hard to see, but yeah, there's a design there. That's cute. Little mini towel. See the design there. 880 yen. And we already looked at that. Uh, like a duvet cover, futon cover. 7,000 yen. Ooh, I ain't cheap. Oh, oh, the little cushion. It's pretty hard, but this is for like, you know, sitting down on the ground or on a bench or something. How much is this? 1800 yen. It folds up. Actually, that's quite that's quite nice. Here's the display from Mini Besties Bash. <laughs> it's quite busy in the store here. A lot of people want this merchandise. Continuing on the balloon motif, so they have this, these rubber balloons for keychains. I have the different colored ones, 1400 yen. It's a nice design. And it opens up, you can put whatever in it. And we have some keychains. Ooh, these feel like rubber. Oh yeah, oh, and squeeze them, okay. 1900 yen for those. And these are earrings, ooh, fun, fun earrings, okay. I kind of like that, actually. Those are fun. I do like earrings. I do like them. Oh! And they have a big pillow version of the mini mini one. That's quite nice. Okay, okay. I see you. How much is this? 2,800 yen. When you come to Tokyo Disney, are you planning to stay at the Disney hotels? Let me know! because you can use the early entry. Now you have an idea how it works here at Tokyo Disneyland. <laughs> I'm gonna take the rest of the day for myself. I told myself for this year, I wanna start doing things more for myself. So I thought I'll do the video in the morning and into the afternoon, and then I'll take the rest of the day for myself to enjoy the park without a camera and all that, just to really re-energize myself. I love making the videos and doing all the research for you guys. I absolutely love it. I think like, this is something I was meant to do. However, I do need to learn to take more time for myself and I'm gonna be trying that. I'm gonna start, you know, start today. Why not? <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me and I'll put another video up here for you so you can find your trip to Tokyo Disney Resort. All right, Explorers, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.